What is up, YouTube? How you doing? It's another podcast. And the phone is ringing as soon as I've started. This is a great start, guys. I love it. This is my life at the moment. Literally every time the phone rings. Podcast 39, didn't really plan anything for this, just doing it randomly, saying like what I can about the current situation, giving you my views, uh, hopefully, well I'm hoping you can learn something, uh, or gain a different different view on something, you know, uh, and yes, 4th of July, ironically, was the day we kind of got a liberty back here. Not me personally. But yeah, I mean... I just got bitten by a spider. That's so weird. I'm not going to turn into Spider-Man. Don't worry. It's fine. Unless the spider had corona. Then, yeah. Uh, but no, like I was saying, 4th of July. Even though it's, they celebrate liberty in America. Whatever it's for, I can't remember. I'm not American, so it doesn't concern me. Um, but yeah, here it symbolised like, yeah, the pubs and the restaurants were open, let's all go out. Second wave, yay. Uh, let's blame it on the protesters and not everyone in the pub, yeah? Fine. Um, I'm being a bit salty, I know. Uh, i just fed up that I can't actually go out. And people are celebrating like, yeah, freedom's back. Not for me, guys, it's another month. And probably by then there'll be a second wave. But like, I can't not expect, you can't not expect that. Can't think, oh yeah, it'll be gone, we all thought that. In January, February, we're laughing about it, hearing about it in other countries, then it comes here and spreads the whole world, to the whole world, and we're not laughing anymore. But at the same time, like I said in the in the vlog, the initial fear of like the unknown is gone. Yeah, we don't, still don't know everything about this virus. Is there a vaccine? Will there ever be? We don't know yet, but there's less fear, and a lot of businesses would have gone back at some point anyway, otherwise they would no longer exist, they would go into debt, uh, they would go under, you know. Um, and my parents have lost three months of work and it's been difficult, yeah. Um, you know, hard to to comprehend really, like the loss of earnings a lot of people have had. Um, but here we are, they've gone back to work in full PPE. Some hairdressers haven't, my parents have and taken probably more than enough precautions mainly because of me so it's my fault really uh, if I haven't said that already um, but yeah I mean I've not vlogged but like I've been doing other things I've been gaming here and there trying to get my mind off like all the stress that's out there it's probably stressful three months and now more because like half the, the things are reopening and I can't see any of that really I mean could be worse uh, it could be a lot worse but here we are and I don't want to like dwell on it too much but it is seriously annoying and uh, now my phone thinks I'm talking Hello. to it <laughs> every time if what I said Siri but yeah it's always listening this iPhone trust me listening to my podcasts um, that is freaky actually it's always listening the CIA guys if I get arrested, you know why? Speaking my mind. It's not allowed anymore, apparently. But no, literally, the, earlier today I've just been chilling, watching like BMX videos on YouTube. Like these riders that are sponsored by BMX uh, sponsors. Uh, they do like little videos, like edits with music, and then they just do tricks around cities. In this case, UK, I'm watching right now. Um, no, I'm just doing random things, like trying to keep myself positive, occupied. As always, it's not the lockdown that we were in before, but still. Um, there's not so much craziness at home. My parents are back to work, my brother isn't. But there's, there's less going on. So more time to film, really, and get back to it. And I want to be consistent with the gaming videos do at least one or two vlogs a week and a podcast 
So the podcast really helps. After last week, I was proper stressed. Got a lot of it off my mind, and here we are. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe I took this week off because I was stressed. I don't know about what, like, but, but I'm kind of with it. At first, when I was on YouTube, it was intense, like every other day making a video. I'd go out, vlog, get home, upload, edit, you know, and hopefully put it on YouTube in the same day, and then move on to the next one. It was relentless, like for the first year or two. Um, and then I slowed down a bit for the summer holiday, 2017, I'm talking about when I first started. And I vlogged it all on my phone, or some of it anyway. Um, nah. It was it was an intense time, and now kind of slowed down a bit. I mean, with lockdown, I've been making a lot of videos, but still not as many as I used to, really. Of course, yeah, I do podcasts too. In gaming, back in the day, it was more just... It would be just a, three or four, maybe five vlogs a week, and a gaming live stream at some point probably on FIFA, which is doing really well at the moment, so thank you for the views on those, and whether you like the vlogs or the gaming or the podcasts, thank you, you know, all 110 of you, are getting more people every day, it's good news, and I'm glad you're part of it, and yeah, just support small channels, YouTubers, um, you know, don't always just follow the, the, the main ones, yeah, I know we're all guilty of it, um, but yeah, follow the smaller channels, support them, like, support any local business, but, wouldn't, wouldn't say that, you know, all YouTube channels are, uh, something local, but like, support small businesses, that's what I'm trying to say, in general, and, there's just too much, like, mixed messages out there with um, what to do about like how to avoid you know whether to wear a mask or not all this you know all the, all the safety precautions around businesses and stuff and yeah they don't need full PP but you do need a visor and my parents are using that and full P and full PP P they've got P everywhere not PP I just get confused when people say it um PPE, yeah. or PEE, Point Evidence Explained. If you went to school around the time I did, you'll know what that means. Point Evidence Explained, that's how you wrote a paragraph, basically, if you're making an argument. So I get mixed up between PPE and PEE, or PE. Yeah, it's all, it's all confusing. But yeah, a lot of businesses are unsure of what exactly the guidelines are. Um, it's difficult if you're... Uh, an individual where you've got like a, you're a sole trader you know with your own business it's, it's a lot more difficult and how can you police the rules um, that easily and maybe in, in a salon it's okay in a pub it's not so easy people are drunk you know hugging each other they just bump into someone they haven't seen for a while and there you go I mean look at the Premier League I mean they're standing two metres apart you know all the, all the subs are sitting in different places before the game, all this, um, the managers, the the referees, all that, the fourth official, they all spread out, and then there's 22 players on the pitch, running around, tackling each other, in between each other, like standing on the pitch, running around. That's that's not that's not two meters, is it? You know. So where's the consistency? And then there's still hate. St- like Mourinho was shaking hands with all the players after the game. I mean. Of, of the other team, so like, how is that setting an example? Really, it's just confusing. I don't know, because it's still a, it's still out there the virus. It's not gone just because the rules are eased, because the rules are decided by the government, and sometimes they decide um, because of the economy, not because of the risk. You know, because the economy can't just stop for that long. It's obvious, I mean, people are bound to have to go back at some point or, you know, just break the rules and go back anyway. But here we are. <laughs> um, but no, it's good to just... I just took a week to just gather my thoughts, you know. But this whole process, this whole uh, lockdown, it's been a time to rest and, like, 
recoup and like think about new ideas for the future think about how I got to where I am now and where the future will take me all this and appreciate the friends and family that I have that support me all the time and you guys I mean that's the biggest thing I mean when it was proper lockdown I felt less alone than ever like talking to more people more friends than usual like keeping in touch to make sure everyone else was okay um, and in doing that that makes me feel better in, in checking up on other people um, I don't know it's weird I know they say you've got to love yourself before you love anyone else but I'm probably guilty of the opposite <laughs> um, that even when I'm tired I'm still going to vlog regardless I'm not feeling up to it maybe not but that's why I took this week off because I was a bit tired of the same thing you know running out of ideas so just refresh everything and start from square one um, of course the whole lockdown period has felt like that like a, re a restart button which you never get in life because life comes at you every day relentless you know you don't get a moment's rest when you think it's okay something else happens um, something just gets in your way or vice versa um, but no I've been close with all my friends and family a lot more probably since we've been in proper lockdown I mean Italy they went out of lockdown maybe a month or two ago and things are pretty back to normal people are at the beach and I'm just like what the hell like why are we all in this lockdown and they're doing that you know but every country is different in a different stage of it and Italy are further ahead they have been the whole time like it started there and then got worse here following that but yeah people are still getting over it over there obviously and of course it's not gone yet for sure they have to be careful so I keep telling all my family so I was skeptical skeptical about even going there this year at all with I mean we can't really because my parents would lose out on more business than they've lost in the last three months why would they go on holiday I mean plane is not an option at all um, for, it shouldn't be for a lot of people uh, that's the worst place to be I would not recommend that but do what you've got to do I mean some people consider it selfish um, yeah it probably is And um, you're allowed to go to the pub so go to the pub is it selfish um, if you've got people that you know that are at risk yes but no like I said keeping in touch with all my friends was great and now things have gone back to normal it's been a bit less so that that gets to me sometimes more than it should I just get a bit paranoid you know like why is this person not talking what's going on no they're just busy with their lives and we're not here yet I'm not able to you know do what I normally do of course I, I can YouTube the hell out of every situation and vlog everything but yeah it's not normal and it's difficult though I've seen a few friends along the way social distanced of course you know I haven't followed every single rule um, but who has all these people say oh yeah pointing their finger oh he broke the rule she broke the rule or you probably did too like you can't really judge if you're the one probably doing the same thing um, everyone's situation is different financially and emotionally but yeah I've got five messages at once that's crazy but no it's difficult and people love to label people nowadays like you're this and you're that if you're against the, the Churchill statue being a, attacked then you're you're a racist you're a fascist no you just don't want to see statues demolished maybe it's not about the political side you know and I'm not going to talk about whether he um, what well, Churchill what he did you know he got rid of Hitler so um, where, wherever the argument is I'm not going to go into it I'm, I'm just like can't we just love everyone you know like forget this let's move on there's all these hidden agendas people are spreading bullshit spreading like rumours and yeah everyone's just so quick to label other people as a certain thing like they have to label you something everyone's something like in their eyes I don't know um, how fair that is it's not fair at all people look at me and I get labelled obviously 
Uh, you get labelled, you get judged, and from that they make assumptions on what you're capable of, like in terms of business and or knowledge or intelligence for that matter. They just judge you based on that. I mean, me, it's more my... No, I look quite young for my age. I don't look 26, that's for sure. So people judge you on that too, like, oh, you're just a kid, you know. Well, I shave my moustache and I look a, yo a lot younger. Way too young, so I keep that <laughs> for that reason. But no, I remember back to how I used to vlog, it was more calm and just random. It's not so random that it's more thought out. Whether that's better or not, I don't know. The randomness was kind of fun. And I try, I do put that back into it sometimes. Every now and then. But I feel like th those of you who've been here a while will have seen it already. But really, that doesn't... Obviously, obviously, the day ones don't care. Whatever I put out, you're watching. So thank you. I just want to keep it fresh. Keep it moving. But yeah, I do want to get back to the... What I call 2017, 2018. Really the golden days of my vlog career. I've got a lot more to come. I'm not saying well, the platinum days are yet to come. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that was the best, but like the golden years or the randomness and like the innocentness and like the not worrying about how many subscribers when I had like 15 or 40 or whatever. Um, less responsibility. Now, I do feel responsible to make a certain amount of videos you know, for you guys. If I'm away too long, I do feel guilty about it. And this has been a week or more. You know, I just had to regather every, like, my thoughts and get rid of all this frustration, like, from the last podcast. Like, that helped, like, just air in your opinions, your views to a camera, whether you guys agree with it all or not. Um, but, yeah, don't, don't label people. And speaking of labelling, like, it's Disability Pride Month, so I've had that on my mind, too. You know, talking about labels and all that and not judging a book by its cover because people do do this and in the era of Black Lives Matter and all these racial, racial problems that we have to eradicate you know, don't judge a book by its cover and people do, regardless of human nature sadly I mean, you can underestimate people, yeah um, people underestimate me all the time they just surprise them but then it's there's you know I mean I'm not not trying to be an advocate for disability or whatever but some people in my situation uh, it affects them in a different way some people come out with more confidence because they feel like they need to stand out from the crowd be a bit more crazy do things a bit more over the top just to stand out or some do the opposite but they just want to blend in and feel like normal and god my voice is going every time drinks break as I was saying I mean two kinds of disabled people that I know those who are overly confident and like trying to show up and like get all the attention uh, to blend in I'm not blend in but like to stand out actually yeah but to to be not I don't know and then again, there's those other people who are more, I know it's going to sound confusing, but more trying to be normal, trying to fit in, trying to like not be the centre of attention. They, if you know what I mean, more sh more like reserved. And maybe it's having a disability can do that to some people. In some cases it can make you more crazy, trying to stand out more. Like, I think me, I've been guilty of it many times. Like... Maybe it's because I look young as well, trying to outdo people in t when it comes to like drinking and confidence and talking a big game and all this. Like that. That's I don't know. That's part of me anyway, regardless. But I feel like I have to be a bit more intense than the average person, just to I don't know to feel. I don't know, more than, I'm not more than, but like, worth something or stand out from the crowd. Like, maybe I don't, maybe I can't, um, 
drink as much as some people, but I drink a lot more than someone would expect of someone like me, if you know what I mean. Annoyingly. Um, and I'm guilty of it, probably more when I was younger. I'm trying to be more crazy and outrageous than the average person. To think like, okay, it doesn't make me any anything less. Um, the physical things I can't do. I make up for it in craziness. And that's not right in some ways. But confidence is good, regardless of the situation. Um, and then there's other people who are more shy and reserved and just want to be normal and fit in, be one of the people in the crowd and just, you know, just fit in when it's pretty difficult and then they end up just being more quiet than the average person anyway. Um, in some cases, always just personality. Um, different ways of approaching things. Um, I'm a bit of both, to be honest. Sometimes I just want to fit in and be normal. Other times I just act out in some ways to appear more outrageous than the average person. Um, and that's part of me. Like, It's bad sometimes, it's good sometimes. I don't dislike it completely. Can get exaggerated. Uh, if you talk a big game, you can't actually back it up. <laughs> but I'm no superhuman, for sure. Yeah, you can see it in the movie. Always, it's like some guy with some sort of like disability turns out to be like some sort of superhero and use it as a superpower. I ain't got no superpower in some ways. Um, superpower comes from facing every day was like with not, you know, not with dread, but with hope and, like, faith and love and all these things um, that some people don't, that maybe they're, they're able-bodied and they're fine in that way, but they've got other problems still that get to them, and, yeah, everyone has, has a, a vice in some ways. Mine is acting a bit crazy, and, you know, in a group of people that would be, it's different when it's like one or two people are more like real, I don't know real, yeah but it's, it's not like I'm bipolar or anything, you know what I mean in that sense uh, I am what I am some days I feel more up to things than others um, in general, like we have days like that a, a, a day or two like that this week where just been like F everything, screw everything I don't care, but, and those days are what I tell myself, you know, um, that's the day you've got to be stronger. Some days it's easy, you know, just to appreciate everything, and on one of my vlogs a few weeks back I was so grateful about current situation, uh, when not everyone is, I was very grateful, but then every now and then I'll get a day when I just don't appreciate anything, that just like, screw this, screw the world. Um, and yeah I mean that happens regardless of what I'm going through a good or a bad week at some point not on the regular but it can happen um, but yeah like I haven't been able to go to the pub with my friends and all that um, it's been annoying frustrating but it'll be over soon and I'll be back there and now more than anything I appreciate it more I value it more everyone, I think everyone does but especially me, like, anyway, I valued, like, social, social situations a lot, like, just didn't get as many as the average person, uh, you know, just because of my situation sometimes, um, you know, and putting an all-nighter is not as easy as some people think, like, some people would, uh, would find it, if you know what I mean, but it's just physically draining. I love an all-nighter though sometimes, and in Italy I go, go all out to make that happen. And maybe not this year, probably not, um, I'm going to get my hopes up high and then be disappointed. So that's why I'm saying that. Uh, but there's always an all-nighter on the cars in Italy, but um, no, I do what I can within my limits. I like a good drink, don't get me wrong. been doing that at home enough in the last three months. And no. It's not good to drink when you're angry, I don't really do that, I mean... But when I, if I do have a drink, you know... I'll feel better afterwards for a bit. Um, 
or like heighten my mood even if I'm in a good mood be even better mood after that you know or in my brother's case it makes me really annoying and talk too much and say things I sh shouldn't say and things that you know I know about him that my parents shouldn't know that I'll just blur out you know and all this and things that they really shouldn't know I just come out of all this it's like why don't you shut up like stop, stop being an arsehole uh, when I'm drunk anyway or maybe on a normal day anyway but that is just banter really um yeah don't take it as oh feel sorry for him he's he's suffering no I'm I'm not there's people going through it a lot worse um and there's mental conditions that can affect you more that can affect your ability to fit in with society and feel normal sometimes I want to and sometimes I really just embrace the difference embrace being different and don't let it you know though it may define me it doesn't confine me um that's a famous speech it's a fam famous like quote I keep hearing from a good friend of mine um at, and yeah it's true you know can't take things too seriously all the time especially in the current situation and I'm convinced that it's better to live in the moment and enjoy the moment than look forward to a future you know but you could get hit by a bus so you might not see that future so live in the moment enjoy the moment you know and though I said that kind of I'm hearing from all my friends and family a bit less family well friends that like that I normally heard from a lot over the the lockdown not hearing from some as much it's because some people are back to normal in other countries anyway um you know so what can I do I just got to realise that when it gets back to normal it'll be like that again I'm, not again but like you know before it'd be like all day just chatting to friends on whatsapp now it's different it's hard to get used to that again to get back to normal routine when for me I'm still off it's difficult and I want to be out there having fun but don't want to take the risk it's not worth the risk all the time as, as as much as I want to act confident all the time and and brave and all these things and or be all the act I'll say be all these things because I am um, and I can't appear that way if I'm if I'm just at home hiding from this virus you know and at the beginning there was there was a patch of football event that I chose not to go to because of the risk of this uh, and and the fear of the unknown uh, my team, some of my teammates still went, and I was, I kind of felt bad about it. I was made, not made to, but like, the the way it was worded, just, um, and the way my my teammates still went, made me uh, feel guilty in that sense. But I knew I was doing the right thing for myself, and if you don't love yourself, how can you love anyone else? That that is the basis of what I'm trying to say. Um, so I realised I'm doing this for me for my own safety I don't want to be ill and then you know and then what um, so at the time it was like stop exaggerating you can't hide from this virus forever all this um, and you can't and we're not hiding we're surviving I'm surviving is what I'm doing and I didn't know it was going to go in for three months no one did no one knew it would be anywhere near the ordeal that it is now the pandemic you know it was just not that serious at the beginning and now it is and it has been and it's been part of our lives and there's nothing we can do to change that apart from value every moment more in the future every social gathering whatever you want to call it meeting with friends and of course yeah it, 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 all, all bad things will come to pass you know if it if it's if it's this difficult now Surely that means it's not the end, you know. It will be alright in the end. And if it's not alright, it's not the end. Yes, I got it right because on the the vlog I messed that up. But it's so true. And it's not all alright, and so it's not the end. That's what you got to think. And, of course, we have our good days and our bad days, like I've said. But here we are. And, yeah, don't take me as some sort of advocate the disability rights but it is disability pride month so be proud of who you are um, and I, and yes yeah, for disabled people especially but 
for everyone. Everyone, everyone has our own impairment or thing that makes us stand out or that affects us or helps us. You know, everyone has that. Everyone has a different outlook on the same thing. Like from the from my view, that, that's how it is. You've seen seen what I think of my situation and, and the whole the whole situation of the world at the moment. I mean, it's different to, to every other person, and my view on disability is different. And don't take it as fact. That's for sure. This is my opinion and like how I see things. That's the thing. A lot of people just take things for fact and then label you because of what you've said. You know, there's a lot of labelling going around. But we just got to stop that. Just got to love each other. You know, world peace. That's it. World peace. In some ways. Yeah, <laughs> and years ago you'd have been labelled a hippie for saying that, but now it's just common sense. It's like everyone wants peace, don't they? You know, make love, not war. And I think I'm going to end it here, guys. I'm doing a bit shorter length podcasts because of the upload time and the Wi-Fi being crap. But yeah, I'm gonna stay strong, and I'm gonna be back soon for you guys another video if I do take another week off so be it don't miss me too much uh, I know you do I know you do but that's how it is think about it I've done 39 podcasts feels like 100 or way more but 39 yeah I mean I started when 2018 October 2018 when I was not in the best of shape myself but I still went on with it um yeah, so I remember that time and that year was stressful. Um, there's a lot of loss in that year too. Well, at the moment, it, well, in life, every year at some point, you're going to lose someone, you know. Like, I'm talking about, like, through, like, end of life or, like, just getting some, getting rid of someone from your life, getting someone out of your life, you know. 2018 was a transformative year for me in both those senses. And for the YouTube channel, so I started this podcast. Think about it. So things have changed since then. Some things have got better. Some, well, state of the economy and the world has got worse. And there's a virus out there, you know. If I could go back to then, I would. But would I change anything? No, because it wouldn't. I wouldn't be who I am today. Um, you know, that's 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 just fact in my case. You can't, you know. You can't go back and change it anyway. You know, so what, what, what can you do? Just move forward, just keep moving forward. You know, <laughs> like Dory says in Finding Nemo, just keep swimming. You know, just keep swimming, that's it. And that's the most cringe thing I've ever done on a video, confirmed right there. I will end it now. Thank you guys. Um, I'm going to love you and leave you. Until next time, take it easy. You know, stay up, stay humble, keep doing your thing, go to the pub if you want to, and that is it for now, guys. Peace.